will win or I will learn, but I will never fail. That is my favorite motivational quote by Marie Forleo. Hello, fellow creatives. It is day 23 of the 30 Days of Painted Elephants project and vlog every freaking day in August. That is my favorite quote from Marie Forleo. It's basically like, as long as you try, you can't lose because you'll either learn something or you'll figure it out and you'll win. It's very inspirational. I think that that is a really good motto to live by. And I am really good at taking risks because I will either excel or I'll figure something else out or learn something in, in the process. For those of you who don't know who Marie Forleo is, she is a entrepreneur and business coach. She runs an online class for entrepreneurs called B-School. And there's only entrances once per year. I think it's in the spring every year. So if you're an entrepreneur and you want to launch your business into the next universe, then B-School might be something for you. I will put a link to her website in the description below. So it is a brand new day and a brand new painting. Um, it's a little bit dark and gloomy here today, you guys. I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling kind of sad because I feel like fall is really on its way. And I feel like I missed out on a whole lot of summer because in Canada, it's beautiful in the summer and they have festivals, at least in my city in Edmonton, they have festivals like every day for three months and there's always something to do and the city is just hustling and bustling the whole summer and you just really get this really awesome energy and vibe during the summertime in that city. We've kind of been cooped up and we haven't done a whole lot and we weren't able to use our pool in our new house because we only got it in August and we're not moved in yet, so I'm kind of feeling a little bit bummed out. I usually really look forward to fall. I love the changing of the leaves in Canada and it's always an opportunity to pull out my fall wardrobe, which is my favorite season because I can wear fun boots and fun scarves. And that's just not the case here in Houston. It's still really hot and muggy, but the days are getting shorter. It's getting darker in the mornings. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm feeling a little bit blue that summer is coming to an end. So I am going to try and counter those emotions in my piece today. I'm gonna use bright colors and I'm really going to try and savor everything I can that is about summer before it's all gone. I'm going to use this same elephant shape um, as my inspiration. Remember the painting that was a piece of crap. That was the layout for that one as well So I'm going back to it because I love that shape But I'm going to use similar watercolors from the piece that I did yesterday So that is the plan for today. The studio is kind of gloomy The skies have just literally opened up and it's turned dark and they're gonna pour down rain on us so I'm gonna pour myself a nice cup of tea and Think about summertime there is my Yogi Sweet Tangerine Positive Energy Tea steaming in my cup. Can you see the steam? Oh, there it is. See, steaming. And see how dark and gloomy it is out there today? It's about to pour down.
Well, when I said colorful, did I ever mean colorful? I'm very glad I did because this painting really cheered me up. Or maybe it was the positive energy tea. Either way, I'm in a great mood after finishing this piece, which is not the way I finished many pieces in the last week. So I am really, really happy with it. Are you ready to see it? This is my like Technicolor elephant. I may just have to do another painting in the orange and yellow and red. Those colors were so vibrant and so lovely. I'm kind of thinking I might do something along those lines in a little while. And I think I totally lived out today's quote. I will win or I will lose, but I will never fail. I took a risk in doing this and being really bright and bold and at the end of this, I feel like I'm winning. So I guess that's the moral of today's painting. And something that I really do live by is taking risks is very worthwhile. Taking risks in your art especially pays off. You're never going to grow and you're never going to learn if you don't push yourself to try new techniques, try new materials, try pushing yourself out of your comfort zone. It's when you stay in your comfort zone that you get stagnant and things don't and things stop flowing. So don't be afraid to take risks. You can always paint over it or you can tear it up and throw it in the garbage and have another sheet of watercolor paper waiting for you tomorrow. If there's one place that you can risk and risk safely, it's in your studio and it's on the canvas because nobody has to see what you're creating. I hope my risk taking in today's painting has inspired you to take some risks in the studio. That's it for day 23 of the 30 days of Painted Elephants project and vlog every day in August. Thanks for tuning in. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't done so already. I'm aiming for that number 100 by the end of August. So if you've been tuning in and haven't subscribed yet, then go ahead and hit that button. I would love for you to be able to see all of my work as often as I put it out. These vlogs are going to be done by the end of August, so you won't be seeing me every day, but I will definitely be posting content regularly. Hit that like button if you enjoyed watching my Technicolor Elephant transpire, and be sure to tune into Instagram at wholeheartedart for all my Instagram studio stories. Thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you again tomorrow.